All right, so I'm definitely rushing. I can't do a whole skincare routine. This is why I like having the little rose uh, toner that I use from Burt's Bees. So I'm going to just do that really quick on my face. Um, you're gonna see the, the super quick getting ready. Like this is what I do. I have an 11.30 appointment. I am actually preparing for a brand trip. It's actually a skincare wellness retreat. And um, I took off all of my nails so I can not worry about anything happening and popping off while I'm away. I just thought it wasn't probably the best idea. So I took them all off. They're so short. It feels so weird, but I think it's the right decision. Um, I'm going to, I have to put shout all over my pajamas because I didn't think the beet juice was going to splatter like that. So what I'm going to do is super fast. I have to still edit a video or review a video for fierce aging. So I'm trying to do that at the same time. These are the staples that, that we're going to do. We're going to do eye primer. We're going to do concealer and I'm going to take my foundation buffing brush. And this is what I do. I just, I dab it in and I literally just go all over my eye because I'm in a rush and I don't have time to be like super perfect perfectionist. So I have to let the OCD go for right now. Put on my glow screen. This is an SPF 40 from Supergoop. It's going to give my skin a little bit of this glow. And I just feel like it's the best thing to do. I have new glasses and I feel like they might be a little too heavy because I'm seeing a nice red line all over my nose. So here we go. Now glowy sunscreens on. So that takes care of that. It's like killing two birds with one stone. You know what? This is gonna be the fast track. Let me get my creme brulee. Okay, so this is what I'm using my creme brulee. It's going to pose as my eyeshadow, giving me just a little something. I'm just using my angled concealer brush. I squeeze it down a little bit so I can get it on my eyelids. And then I'm going to do my cheekbones right here, just bronze it up. So I have the glow screen on right now. So I have a little bit of that glowiness to my skin. And then I will put on a little concealer. just take my angled concealer brush and just work this in. Now I'm kind of working backwards where I put the glow screen on, but I just wanted to see how much I needed. And then I'm going to just put on some mascara, a little lip oil. So I'm almost there. Um, let me see. I don't even know what time it is. It's 11.07. I really have to leave. I'm going to drop off those juices to my parents after my manicure pedicure. And I have a loaner car because my car died. A little over a week ago it's very strange and they don't know what's wrong with it they said that they can't get power to it it's a hybrid so I think that's the issue so looks like I don't have a car and then they're gonna have to buy it back I just got this car it's maybe a little bit over a year I've had so many problems with it so that is very interesting I actually thought maybe I should just do uber <laughs> and then just forego the car but that didn't really make sense either so now I got to go back through that nightmare experience of trying to find another car so at least i have a loaner i actually fought to get that because i knew that my car when i went out to put all my stuff in it before work the night before it was literally dead like the fob didn't work i had to like go on youtube to figure out how to open my car like with the key that comes in the fob and then the alarm went off and um i was like oh gosh i hope it goes is this alarm gonna go off? I'm gonna have to tow it now, but I towed it the next morning to the dealership. And so that's the deal with that. I am looking a little bit more alive. I will take, just real quick, I will take a little Classic Beach Glow. It's gonna be a cream uh, blush right on my cheeks. I mean, look, if you are in a rush and you're doing messy work, this is the best. You cannot mess up. I will put on a little lip liner this is Cameo. And then what I do is I'm going to put on my lip oil from Dior. This is called, what's number 12? Oh, it's Rosewood. I actually really have liked this. I have a couple of these. I'll put this on. Doesn't have to be super perfect either. See, like messy, messy. Okay. I'm going to be like, I'm assuming. My hair is a little dirty. I don't want to wash it until tomorrow because the flight is on Sunday morning. I mean, I could always put it back, but I've been putting on my hair serum from Nutrafol. So I actually didn't know they had this. They came out with it and I reached out to them and I said, oh my gosh, 
I'm taking the supplements and I've partnered with them a couple times and I love their supplements. So I'm putting on the hair oil in the areas that I've been targeting with the vitamins. So I've been doing this, even though I'm rushing, I do have time to <laughs> make sure I target my hair. All right, so I am going to get in the closet. You're gonna see my uniform that I wear when I am rushing and let's get into the car. I actually feel like a cartoon character with these glasses on, but I'm just getting used to them. I'm going to put on my um, favorite little huggies. This is from Jenny Beard. You've seen that I got these at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. They're super cute. I have um, alternatives because they sold out right away. I'm gonna grab my slouchy jeans. I'm gonna grab a t-shirt and we're going to just put on some flats and get going. All right, so I decided just to do a tank top. I don't even think you can see. Let's look and see if you can see my slouch jeans. Can you, can you? All right, let's look. Slouchy jeans. I got this new belt from Banana Republic at their sale. I'm gonna just throw this on. I'm gonna throw on, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw on a jacket. Oh, I have the perfect jacket coming today. I hope it comes today. Slouch jeans go a little bit lower on the hip. So my belt is going to go on the first one here. So perfect. Let's get the show. I'm going to be wearing these are my favorite. They're so great. I love that they have that little logo. I got this at the um, Banana Republic sale again. I told you I shopped to the men's section. This is a men's jacket. I'm going to put this on. What's this? Okay, we got this. I'm doing a little brown action. I'm going to grab, ooh, I'm gonna grab my, my brown bag and we'll be out. So we made it. I didn't hit the bridge. It's 1127. You see half of my face, that's fine. We are perfect, about to pull in for the Manny Petty. And this is why it's so important to have a really good emergency routine when you're running late and be able to get your makeup on look presentable but not spend all this time you've got to have the fast track makeup skincare spf whatever you're doing so i am going to get into my appointment and then i'm going to swing by my parents and drop off the juice that i made them this morning maybe have a little lunch with them and then we will continue styling for this little trip i'm taking All right, so I'm back. I was very hectic this morning. I have so much on my mind and all of these things to get done with work and with just, you know, all the filming and reviewing and getting things scheduled before I leave. So today I wanted to make sure that I did a mani-pedi because I, my nails have, I've been doing them myself for a long time, but for the last six months I've been experimenting with those nails from Amazon and I felt like my nails needed a break. Plus I'm going on a brand trip that's more of a skincare wellness retreat. And I just felt like it was more of the vibe to have my natural nails. So what I did was this color is, I layered it. So it, the first layer is Funny Bunny from OPI. And then I put on Bubble Bath from OPI. And then I did Funny Bunny again. So I wanted it to be milky, but not too white, not too pink. So that's really what I ended up with. I actually paired, I don't think I showed you my bag. I showed you this before in another vlog, but this is my Giorgio Armani suede bag that you can take off this handle if you want to, but it is a crossbody. It's beautiful. It actually matches my belt that I wore today. So that was really great. So on this brand trip, there's events and they're themed out. So I kind of wanted to show you what I was thinking for the different events. Um, I have a bunch of things that came in that I'm going to show you. So if this video, I don't know how long this video is going to be, because you know, when I get in the closet and I start pulling out fashion and showing you what I got, it could take on a mind of its own. I did show you over on Instagram that I bought two different little accessories from Hermes the other day. And what was in those boxes were the Moore's 90. This is a scarf ring. And then I got the mini. So I watched a video that you can actually do all of your scarves with this, even though it is small. I did get this from my Twillies though, which are my smaller scarves that are kind of more like what you would put around a bag or around your neck. Um, I just thought they were so beautiful because the only scarf rings I have are these, I bought these in 2000, 
16, I think. This is Ferragamo. Like this is gold one. It's really no biggie, right? And then the silver one here too. So I just thought that these were a little bit more fun. You can actually put these on a bag. I mean, you can do so many things with this. You can do a scarf for a belt and make this kind of like the buckle. There's really, if you research it, you're gonna see so many great things. So that's what I bought to be able to wear my scarves a little bit more on a unique level, more creative. I did get this scarf recently on the Real Real. It was, it was marked in a different brand, so I got a really good deal on it. It's this really beautiful, you know I love yellow. So it was this beautiful Gucci uh, scarf. And I think it's so pretty. It actually really, it would have gone with this whole ensemble today if I wanted to do something like that. But I know I'm in South Florida, but guess what? I don't play by the weather rules. I do what I want to do. I wear whatever I want to wear. So it could be hot, but I love it because I just love styling. So here we go with another, this is different because I have a lot of brighter colors. I don't have any really fall kind of looking scarves. So this is another Gucci one. It's kind of very classic with the horses. And I thought it was really pretty. So I bought this recently. So I have a theme that the, the gala dinner I'm good with. I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear with that. And I've picked out, I actually bought these Jimmy Choo, um, I was going to say slides, but they're wedges. And they were the last, like in the company in the, the whole United States. And I wasn't sure if they were going to come. So luckily I got them. So I'm going to show you that, that dress and the shoes that go with that because they said they, re they recommended you wear a wedge or flats. And I was like flats with, for a gala dinner. I was like, I don't, I don't do flats. I never really do flats. I mean, I don't do flats with a dress ever. So I thought, oh my gosh, and I don't do wedges either. So in wedges to get to look elegant and elevated, I thought that was going to be a challenge because they're usually cork or that looks like an espadrille. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Cause I have this beautiful poochie dress that I haven't worn yet. And I'm like, they're not going to go with cork. So I'm going to show you those wedges because they are perfect and they fit. I did order multiple different um, wedges. I bought these Prada ones that I almost broke my ankle on trying on. They were beautiful, but I was like, this is a no. Obviously, I don't think they were my size exactly. So I'm going to show you all of that. But this one event, we're going to be on a college campus and the theme is collegiate chic. So, you know, I could do so many different things with this. I just recently did a reel where I had like a, a yellow and white striped skirt with a Ralph Lauren jacket and a button down Ralph Lauren shirt. And I thought I could do, I could do something like that. Or I could do, I don't know, I'm gonna show you, I could do a letter jacket. I'll show you what my options are, but let me just show you a fun skirt that came from J. Crew. I started following this new, uh, she's more of a, She's a Southern belle, I would say, and she does more cooking home, home kind of things. And she's so cute. I really, I really enjoy her content. And she, in her story, she went to a wedding and she wore this skirt. And it's so funny. I bought it right when I saw that she wore it. It was on sale at J. Crew. You're gonna die. Ready? This is what the skirt looks like. Let me see. I wanna make sure you can see, like, can we see the full, I mean, do I have to tilt this down again? I don't know, hold on a second. You know, like I'm not the cameraman today. All right, ready? This is what the skirt looks like. It's a midi, right? But <laughs> you're gonna die. So I bought it and then this is what I do. I buy it and then I read the reviews after, which is not the right thing to do, but it was on sale and it said a few left. So I just guessed what my size would be. <laughs> but this is giving like Tiki Hut. This is giving like, going to Fiji or Hawaii, right? I just, I feel like it's one of those in the gift shop little dolls with the skirt, right? Oh my gosh. So I read the reviews, there weren't that many, and it was like, oh my gosh, this is the worst skirt I've ever bought. It, it's like tinsel. They're like, it's like plastic, what have you. And I thought, okay, well, that's all right. Like, what are you expecting? And then someone else wore it and was like, it's amazing. She put it with like a denim shirt. Someone else put it with a black top i mean the the girl that i saw she wore a white shirt white button down and pearls and it just looked really pretty she said she got so many compliments i thought it would be fun like it is a fun skirt i think it's great for holiday right talk about like christmas new year's eve i mean this is like yes it's like tinsel and i and it's not stiff or anything like that it's actually soft so 
I, when it came, I thought, oh my gosh, I just kept thinking about the bad reviews. And I'm like, you know what? It's fun. I like it. I know you can't see me again, but I love it. Why be normal? Like, why be like, oh, let me just do the black pencil skirt. No, we're going to be doing the tinsel skirt this year and I'm going to have fun. And maybe it's giving like putting out to the universe that maybe I'll be going to Hawaii, Tahiti, Bali, who knows? Like, let's, let's get something tropical out there, right? Let me show you this other, I'm just going to show you some things that arrived before I get into the collegiate and then my dress that I'm wearing for the, the dinner. I got this. Let me take this off. I have to have this on because if I don't, you are not going to be able to hear me. So hold on. All right, well, let's snap it in. And then I'm going to show you this before I put it on. So I bought this suede vintage Louis Vuitton jacket. Now at first for a second, I thought, is this reversible? But no, no, it's not. It's not reversible. I thought for sure, because it's not like it's cozy warm when you put this on. So it's perfect for Florida. It's very thin. I wanted a suede jacket. I didn't want anything super heavy or anything like that. So I really, I think it's beautiful. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't see any like major any issues so it's absolutely beautiful and you know it's so weird oh it's a 42 that's not weird it actually you want it larger the bigger the better i i think so here we go let's do this let me do this and i think it's just perfect for travel i'm actually taking it on the trip I love the fact that it has this gold inside, so it's a little bit different. And it's really just super soft. It's simple. It's not, you know, it's not doing anything too, too much. This is the dress that I'm going to wear for the dinner gala. It is a poochie dress. It zips up the back right here. It's a maxi dress, and it has this really nice embellishment here that says poochie on it. It is, it's open here in the front, but I have a very small chest, so it's not revealing at all. I have this on a reel. I did a reel on this. It's just, abs it's just so gorgeous. So the perplexing thing was the flats or wedges. I thought this dress cannot handle a flat, number one. And number two, what wedge, right? Like what wedge? Oh my gosh. So I actually went, I couldn't find anything secondhand. I tried and tried and tried, and I was running out of time. It did come, so I was very excited. So these are patent Jimmy Choo's and they're wedges. So they are perfect. It was like almost made for the dress for this event because I don't know what else I would have worn. This would have been a very, very hard thing to find to be able to wear. So that was perfect. This is going to be the bag. It's a Carolina Herrera. This is just a little clutch, it fits nothing but that's okay. I hold my phone. It at least will fit a lip gloss and a lipstick. So we're perfect. Maybe some mints. And then for my earrings, I was thinking, I really thought that I would do something. I don't know. I could do, this might be a really good question for you. Should I do my, these are St. John, right? These are vintage St. John little clip-ons. They're the round, they're not round, but they're like kind of like a larger kind of teardrop here. I've worn these a lot on my Instagram. Could do that. Or should we do the new egret Jenny Bird that I got? These. I think those are really pretty too. Very elegant. Matching kind of like the bag and the, the belt accoutrement thing. I could do that. These I think might be too. I don't know. These are Jenny Bird also. These are one of my favorites. They're almost like little um are they, yeah, there you go. They're like almost like remind me of like Christmas ornaments. I think these are pretty also. I definitely want to do this, this, um, cuff bracelet. I have this one from Jenny bird that goes with the egret. This is an egret. So beautiful. So it matched the earrings that I just showed you. I could do this. This is from Alexis Batar. Just opens up on the side like that. That's pretty, but I don't know if that's too much. Or I could do a Carolina Herrera to match the bag. I don't know if that's too like much doing something like that. Remember too, it's long sleeve. So I think like less would be more, would be maybe something like this, very simple. So I could do that. 
So that's kind of the accessories, keeping it very just minimal. I could do the egret um, little ring that I like to wear. I could do that also if I wanted to. I'm not going to be wearing this ring. I don't travel with that. And then um, that's the gala dinner. So I have that checked off. Now we have the collegiate chic situation going on. So I'm going to try that on for you to kind of see, because I think that's a whole other thing. Let's go into like the long mirror so you can kind of see what I'm thinking and what would be kind of fun to do. This is option one. It is a totem striped shirt, Ralph Lauren emblem jacket. It's double breasted. I would leave it open. Tweed J. Crew skirt. And you can see, I think if I back up, the Chanel Classic Ballet Flats. I want to wear a sneaker, but it doesn't look right with this. So this is kind of just a, a very, this is basically how I normally dress, but this would be option one. I could also put on white pants with this. I could do white jeans. I don't know. I have to see, like, we'll have to just see it on to see what kind of resonates more with that collegiate chic. I'm thinking there's a, there's a very fine line between like preppy and collegiate. So these are my shorts from Giorgio of Palm Beach, this little store on Palm Beach Island. This is a Ralph Lauren button down top that you can cuff up and has the stripe. And then that same Ralph Lauren double breasted jacket and my Chanel just basic ballet flats. So this is another, I mean, I'm, I should probably just go for preppy chic instead of collegiate chic, right? But this is, oh, I could put a belt on. What belt would we wanna do? Um, you know what? I think I would want to stay understated. Let me get the belt. Let's do my Amazon belt that I've told you about that I love. It's adjustable. I'm not even going to put it through all the belt loops. Let's just get it through so you can see what it's going to look like. But this could be something that would pull it all together. What do we think? This is option number two. This is my, this is again, my uniform since I was 12. But I think for, I mean, this is, I actually kind of like this if we don't want to go with the yellow. Let's try another option. Are you ready for <laughs> the real collegiate? Now this is going to be, this is going to be real collegiate. This is my Tiffany jacket. Now I hope you can see everything because I'm, you're getting my shoulder and then you're getting it like third person. These are my little sneakers that I bought last year. I actually wore these in California last year when I was in Napa for my birthday. They have the little Chanel tag, like kind of like a little tongue, if you will, on the back. They're so comfortable. I bought them on the real reel and they were in perfect condition and I've loved wearing them. So I thought these would be kind of fun to wear with this outfit. Let me just pop them on so you can see. I would wear socks, just ankle socks. You can see it's, it says Tiffany on the back. This was part of in 2000, I want to say 19, it was part of, or maybe it was 2018. Tiffany came out with the men's collection. They did a pop-up in LA and this was one of the jackets from my research. No one has this. I saw it on one celebrity man. I don't even know who he was. And I thought it was so cool. It matches our guest bathroom that we did in Tiffany blue. So I did a reel on it. So you can see it there. I put it over a silk, just, um, little maxi dress. It was really cute. So this is kind of, I'm leaning more towards this. I think I'd probably put on a, like a little black belt and then just kind of pull it all together. But this is, this is more collegiate, right? With the letter jacket. But I don't know if it's going to be too hot, but this is a tank top just from, I think it's Banana Republic or J. Crew, And that's it. So these are my options for you. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? <laughs> Do you think I should just go all out and just do jeans and a letter jacket and forget the preppy kind of stuff? I would love to know. I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe we're leaning towards this. We'll see. I forgot to tell you that there is a cocktail party the night that I get there. So I thought about doing something very simple and very classic. And this is this Gucci dress. It is black midi and it has these uh, little bamboo details on the shoulders. So nothing loud, nothing, you know, crazy, just really, a really beautiful. I could put a pashmina over if I felt like I was going to get cold. I could wear it with those same, um, wedges. I don't know if that really looks right with them, 
but I can just wear a little, a little heel, what have you. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I do have a Victor Costa vintage cocktail dress that I'm gonna bring just in case. I don't know what kind of mood I'm gonna be in. For perfumes, I thought, I bought this Rose de Grange last year and I shared it and they were so thankful that I shared about their product that they sent me a travel size. So it was just really nice. So I have this beautiful fragrance in a travel, like this beautiful, I mean, this is, if you like Rose, I took a chance. I just ordered it from France because I was like, it's got to be good. I saw it on TikTok. This girl, this lady in Palm Beach was talking about it. And I think that's where everybody kind of knew about this perfume. And it comes in this little bag and it's perfect. So this will be really nice. It's so beautiful. You will enjoy it. If you like Rose, it's a little bit different. It's just, mm, it's just, I really think it's very elegant. So I'm going to bring that among other things. Just, you know, I have this one too. I got it at the Estee Lauder event, the beautiful Magnolia. It's really nice as it's travel size also. Mm, and then I can have something different, but I love these because these are really easy to travel with compared to a big bottle. So I think that's it. This is really exciting. I'm so excited to share the whole event, what it's about. I didn't want to give you too much about the event and what I'm doing because I wanted you to be excited for all the information that I'm going to be sharing. And you can watch on Instagram stories and you and covering the whole event and everything else. I'm very excited. I'm very honored to be there. It's very exciting. My husband's coming with me because I had a plus one and we've actually extended the trip to be part of my birthday. We were planning on being there anyway, but we just moved it up a week. So this is really, we're gonna be celebrating my birthday. It's gonna be really, really wonderful. And I'm excited to take off a week from work and not think about anything. And that's pretty much it. So I will see you on my next video.